Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching this video. In this video we'll be doing screen mirroring but in really basic way. Now I've seen a lot of people uh, commenting and reporting that they, the screen mirroring is not working, that they can't, fi can't, can't find a screen mirroring in their TVs and lots of other problems. But this time I'll make sure that you will do screen mirroring correctly. Now this is going to be a very basic video and for those who have a little bit of idea about screen mirroring and that kind of stuff, please don't watch it because this will be for the beginners. This is going to be the beginners guide that I said it before. Now let's get started. Now before we get into it, uh, you will need you'll be needing a laptop and a TV. That's obvious. I know. And you don't need a Chromecast or HDMI cable or anything. Just laptop and TV will do the work. Now, all right. Now coming back to the TV. Now before we go to the further, before we go any further. Just make sure you have screen mirroring in your TV. Now you'll be seeing a demo on your screen that I uh, will show you how you can find it. But it's really it's really important for you or for me that you should check the screen mirroring option in your TV before doing the screen mirroring actually. Okay, now see the demo. Now go to the main menu and uh, look for day connected devices. Now under connected devices, check uh, look for the screen mirroring. And if you can't find it there, just look for it in under settings or wireless settings or maybe application settings. But in Sony Bravo TVs, it's pretty easy to locate it. Once you find it there, tap it, tap on it, and wait until it says it's ready. Now, now it's ready. All right. Now, if you can't find it, it's not a big deal. Uh, you will be seeing two different videos on your screen. You need to watch these videos, and. Uh, well, you need to watch these videos because I've used different TVs in that with those videos. But maybe, maybe it might help you guys. Now, if you find the screen mirroring, if it's there, that uh, that's one step. Again, Tom. Now let's get to the other step. Now, on on your laptop, just go to the uh, start menu. That's Windows 10, by the way. So you don't have to worry about it. All right. Now go to settings. That's settings. Okay, now uh, uh, settings under settings, go to devices. Under devices, go to the connected devices. Now here, you might want to remove every single device that is connected via uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, like um, a wireless ma a wireless keyboard, the speakers, uh, headphones, cell phones, anything. Just move everything you got. Now we need to pause here, and we need to go back to our TV. Now coming back to the TV, well, uh, <laughs> first things first, go to settings and go to the network settings, and there you need to turn on the Wi-Fi. That's 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 it. You need to turn on the Wi-Fi, or or you can use cable if you have, but I recommend you to use Wi-Fi because we'll be gonna using same Wi-Fi. Now make sure you connect it to the same Wi-Fi router as your laptop. Obviously, that's that's obvious. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi, go to the applications or go to the settings or maybe the wireless settings. I'm not really sure about your TV, but I'm I'm sure about mine there. Uh, that there you say that's I found the connected devices and that's that's the screen mirroring that I'm talking about. It's a pretty simple to find it, but if you really can't find it, just leave a comment down below and you can also use your TV manual to find the screen mirroring in your TV. That's how you say. Uh, yeah, once you've done that. Go to the uh, uh, tap on it and wait in s until it says that the screen mirroring is enabled. Now, when it's enabled, uh, you need to go back to the laptop. Now, we'll be continuing uh, from where we left off. Now, click on add a, add a device and wait until it says that your TV, until it says or shows your TV name or whatever. Now, okay. Now you can see easily say that's the, that's my TV. That's the Bravia KD. So you need to tap on it and wait. And it's it might take some time. It depend. It all depends on your Wi-Fi strength and the um, so internet speed, maybe. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you are having WPS pin issue, you need to watch this video on your screen to fix it. Thank you so much for watching guys, that's it, I hope you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe, 